Bugs rule. Bugs everywhere. What do bugs have to do with programming? Well, you'd be surprised to know. Quite a bit. Welcome to challenge number four. These things are kind of freaking me out a little bit. Ah, kind of gross on the other side. Thanks for joining us for challenge number four in the Kids Code On program this week. We are collecting knowledge tokens for taking on any kind of scratch challenges that I post here one day, every day of this week. So kind of having fun. I'm going to describe what's going on here, but the, uh, the bugs in the code, who knows the story? Well, our theme is code, code on. So we're coding on and what do bugs have to do with anything? Well, look up Admiral Grace Hopper and Wikipedia you will be surprised by how much information you learn about where she's coined the phrase a bug in her code so she journaled it which is wonderful that she saved that information for us and there's a picture in wikipedia of her journal the first bug that caused a problem in the code so let's go on to today's challenge so sorry, I have the studio code here. Let's log in. I'll show you kind of like what I was doing. Remember, I was SDB20. Uh, you could be one of the others. Get your own login. I wanted to show you where you go to. This is what it typically looks like as a student when you first log in. Just try to get used to going to my stuff. If you look at my stuff, what you'll notice is I wanted to show you the studio. So click on my studio and spring break. So this is where I want uh, projects to get posted as you complete those. So I'm going to just kind of show that uh, web page here so it's a little bit easier to see. So today's challenge is based on bugging. When you have a bug in your code, which is normal, you will have bugs everywhere all the time. Get used to it. Uh, but the process of getting rid of those bugs is called debugging. So that's what today's challenge is. So there are different levels here. Um, so when you finish your challenges, this is the studio I'd like you to uh, uh, post it into. Now, let me shrink this a little bit. I think this is a little much. That way you can see. Well, let's give it a try. Let's see how that works. I think it looks okay. So the next uh, web page I want to show you is you can try with Unit 1 debuggets. There are five projects. So the challenge is to do five debuggets. Now, there are three different levels. I've got a unit one, a unit two, and a unit three. Um, if you find it too easy, I think unit one, honestly, is way too easy. I would like you to challenge yourself. That's what we're here for. Either go to unit two, which is this debug here, this page, debug two, 4759, or I'll show you studio three. And that's what these look like so if you go into one of these studios let's pretend we're a student let's take a look at uh, let's assume we're going for this harder one so let's try these five let's just start um, with this one here let's start with 3.2 just for fun so let's see how these are posted for you so in the project the scratch cat is supposed to count from one to the number that the user provides the scratch cat always counts to 10 how do we fix the program so these are programs that have bugs in them so let's just run it I always like to see what should the count cat count to let's count to four and say okay one two three four stop cat and it just keeps on going so that's the bug it's not doing what they wanted let's see if we can find it by looking inside um, wow, this is shrunk, I think, way too much. Let's go to this window. If you notice here, you can see more of the code since we kind of want to look at the code. And I will shrink this window a little bit more so we can see the blocks. There we go. So, Scratch Cat, when it clicks, he's forever asking, what do you want me to count to? And he waits. And we entered in the answer. And it says, oh, set the current number to zero and repeat 10 times. So it changes and keeps counting one, two, three. But look, it repeats here 10 times. So we wanted it to be the variable, right? So the variable was uh, the uh, answer. 
So let's find answer. So let's see if I did it. So you type in the answer, let's give it a shot. We can just run it right here. What should I count to? That window's kind of tiny. What should I count to? Let's try four again. Let's see if we fixed it. One, two, three, four. Yay! Eight. Let's count to eight. We did it. So already I helped you fix one of the debugs in the challenge. Does that make sense? So those are the different levels of challenges. So please go ahead and give it a try. I showed you the address for unit one. I'll do it one more time. So if you want to try with the easiest, this is the easiest path right here. It says scratch 47.5. That's the studio that you can see in here. It's just kind of posted up there so you can see it a little bit easier. And then here is number two. 475-5539. And let me just make sure I'm not showing the wrong one. And then when you go to three, let's go back to where we were into the studio. And there it is, debug it. And that is this site right here. So again, the way you would fix it is you'd go into the debug. And you want to save it, you say remix. That'll save a copy for you. If you notice, now it's saved as a remix. And you fix it, and then you can share it. If you said, hey, I did it. Uh, let's see, we fixed it with uh, duplicate. We said repeat to duplicate. And now I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to share this remix. I shared it. Uh, I did it. And let's just run it one more time. Four, one, two, three, four. There you go. So now you've we've shared it. Let's add it to the studio that I'm looking at your projects. And there it is, it's there. So you can go to my stuff, my studios, the challenges, and there it is. There's the remix from SDP20. So that's how you get to all of those. Um, so thanks for joining. I hope uh, you enjoy the challenge. As always, if you have any questions, I want you to keep coding on. Uh, and you can see up here, there's the code on email that your parents can send me questions to, any kind of comments, uh, or welcome feedback. Hope you try these challenges and enjoy it. Again, you can do these anytime. It doesn't have to be during spring break. So I look forward to seeing you accumulate your Pendication knowledge tokens and keep on learning and coding. Enjoy.